All organisms, including humans, harbor vast numbers of symbiotic microorganisms. The Kiel-based Collaborative Research Center 1182 investigates the functional consequences of host-microbe interactions, especially regarding health or the onset of disease. How the composition of microorganisms arises is a fundamental but yet unanswered question. So we tried to investigate whether the uh, composition of the microbiome might already be explained by chance alone. We used a theoretical model that is um, based solely on, on random processes and we applied this model to a whole range of, of organisms. Complex systems like the microbiome can be interpreted more easily with the help of theoretical approaches, like the neutral model in evolutionary theory. In this way, the researchers try to predict how the microbial composition is assembled in the absence of selection. So this so-called neutral null model predicts the composition um, of the microbiome in the absence of all selective pressures. And we compared this prediction to real data from a whole range of, of organisms. And so we found that the prediction of the model and the real data um, often match surprisingly well. And this potentially means that there are many, many different compositions of the microbiome um, that are all equally good at fulfilling important functions for the, for the host organism and which individual um, microbiome composition then actually develops um, might be way more down to chance than we previously thought. Some organisms strongly deviate from the model though. The threadworm's microbiome, for instance, shows a completely different composition than predicted. So the deviations seem to be most interesting because we can identify bacteria that have a functional role, or at least it hints towards a functional role, for example, helping the host in digestion. We can also kind of look at the other direction where pathogens, for example, have a very different abundance from those that don't play any role. So microbiome research so far is mostly data-driven and with conceptual models we kind of aim to sharpen the questions and maybe develop a new hypothesis and then go with this new hypothesis into the experiment again. The new model of the neutral meta-organism will play an important role in our efforts to understand the molecular basis and the evolutionary origin of interactions between hosts and microbes. In future, the new model will be of high value when trying um, to develop general concepts and uh, fundamental rules which are governing the interaction between hosts and microbes.